Hello everyone! If you are choosing knit fabrics for making underwear, for example panties, or making t-shirts and tank tops, I want to share with you a few recommendations which fabrics it is better to choose and which it is better to avoid or use them for another project. So stay with me for a few more minutes and I will share this with you. So first of all, we want to use natural fabric, right? Cotton or silk. So far, I was able to find neat silk fabric in the Los Angeles fabric district. Um, so it's not easy to find this fabric, but definitely worth to try to find it. See, it looks absolutely gorgeous on both sides, almost identical. Also, having this beautiful uh, silky sheen and um, also on the body, like when you touch it, it feels very soft and just having this um, luxurious uh, like feeling. So definitely worth to try to find it. So if you will like it to find it, let me know also. I would be happy to, to order it as well. If you live around Los Angeles area, I can share with you the address of this store so you can also use it for your project, like different silks. They also have it with the print, uh, with different printing. So um, also if you are interested in the classes on making uh, underwear, like um, panties, different uh, bra, bralettes, um, camisoles, and also in making swimwear, let me know, I will put you in a, in a waiting list. I'm planning sometimes in this spring uh, start series of classes on making um, underwear and swimwear. So let's get ready to the new summer season. Okay. So, so here on the East Coast, I didn't find uh, silk knit yet. So I chose just uh, cotton knit and I took it in a slightly different fiber content. So here is the second thing that we need to pay attention that the fabric is uh, lightweight or extra lightweight. And the uh, kind of like indirect way to check it will be to stretch it. And if you can see through, it's definitely will be good choice for this type of projects. I hope you can see through this fabric because I can see. I don't know if you can see through the camera. So this one will work in terms of weight of the fabric. You see thickness or weight of the fabric. And this... Also, two, they are the similar quality, but just also different color. You can also see through. Okay. Yeah, you can see it now. So, this is the second so step. The moment the number three. We want to see the fiber content in our fabric. 100% cotton or almost 100% percent cotton. So the fabric will be stretchy and flexible only because it has a neat weave. So along uh, the warp it will not stretch, see? But along uh, the weft it will stretch but um, not so much. See, I think this actual fabric has a little bit elastane but very, very little. The label didn't say anything but how it feels it has a little bit elastane. So, and for example, this fabric has much more elastane. And if you stretch it, you can see, like you see, it stretches almost like double at least, maybe even more. So this fabric has much more elastane in the fabric content. So why it is important for any garments that uh, sits um, very like firmly on the body, like panties, camisoles, uh, um, bra, bralettes. We want to use this type of fabric, so I kind of separate them, right? This I will use for this type of projects. And this fabric I will use for tank tops, for t-shirts, and for other like more loose garments. So elastane has much lower tolerance to the higher temperatures than cotton. And what will happen when we wash and dry in a dryer with the higher temperatures, our garments often. Elastane will start losing its flexibility and the garments will get bigger, like slightly bigger and bigger. And uh, when we use this type of fabrics for garments that do not sit like firmly on the body, like tank tops or t-shirts, like more loose garments, it will not be such as visible if the garment will get like a half of an inch wider in a in like entire circumference, right? But if our panties will get a half of an inch wider, 
it will be already another size, right? We don't want our panties to look baggy on us. So this is why it is important. Another moment that elastain in um, garments that are constantly stretches on the body and sits in this position, in a stretchy position, will get eventually will get tired and will lose its flexibility in the ability to shrink back uh, to the original size. And in combination with the higher temperatures in a, uh, drying and, and, and washing, the garment will stretch even faster, you see, and get baggy even faster. So we don't want it to happen in our camisoles or in our underwear. But for our t-shirts or tank tops, it will work. So this is why we separate this type of fabrics. And for example, like uh, this uh, silk, you see, it's still stretchy. It stretches, you see, with the elastic, it stretches very nice. So it will sit mm, firmly on the body. So it will, it will work as an um, underwear garment very well. But it doesn't have any elastane inside, you see. It's stretchy just because it's neat. The same with the cotton. It will stretch and will keep its shape because it's neat. And with, with the elastic around, it will keep its shape very well. So the general advice for this type of fabrics with the more elastain in fiber content, like for example, this neat fabric, you see, also very thin, like extra lightweight, but um, with a, a lot of elastain inside. The general recommendation to use low temperature for washing, low temperature for drying or actual air dry it and make garments that are not sitting firmly on the body that are loose like more loose silhouettes other designs than we want to see in our underwear right so more loose silhouette low temperature and uh, the lifetime of your garments will be much longer okay so i hope this video will help you understand which fabrics to choose for different projects. If you have any questions, of course, ask me. I will be uh, glad to help you to choose good fabrics. Otherwise, wish you good luck with your project and see you in my next video. Bye!